This is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. Still on the same topic of how we can address the wrong the right way, I'm going to invite you to consider the following approach. And that is taking this route. Whenever we hear something that it is absolutely wrong and unfair, to take a deep breath so that we will stop ourselves from reacting and addressing what is obvious when the wrong approach is obvious. And after we take a deep breath in a calm and collected way, keeping an eye contact, having a peaceful approach to attempt to try to see what is being said, to see what is to see, and to listen to what is to be listened to. By that I mean at that moment, I don't need to focus on the wrong that is acting like a strong trigger. Instead, I need to become a human sponge in the form of allowing the other person to express the viewpoints that are so emotional and intense to them. By staying calm by having that kind of a calm, friendly attention. Remember, the person who is talking to us is not our enemy. The words that he or she might be saying that are conflicted to our thoughts and feelings are the so-called enemy, but not the person. So we need to embrace the person by seeing and listening to what he or she is trying to say, and without interruptions, I meant. Then, the next step is for me to side with what they believe just for a second, and agree with them based on their perception, on their perception, not on the principle. Going back to the same example, If someone says to me, that is very wrong. It is against theology to be entering the church wearing a mask. Well, I can see their point and I can agree at that moment with their perception. Even if I don't agree with the whole thing that they are representing through their words. And I can validate and I can say, you're right. You're absolutely right. What is being done wearing masks in the church is wrong. And then I can continue saying, but if I don't comply and show obedience, which is one of the most important principles in the faith, showing obedience into the church or showing obedience into the government, go on and on and on. You can apply that formula in every aspect showing obedience into the authority, my reaction, my anger, instead of helping my right thoughts to be productive, they're causing my right thoughts to be destructive. You see, there is a gate where if we just let our right thoughts come through, rush through that gate forcefully, those right thoughts, no matter how right they are, they're going to cause damage with the power that they can come through. If those right thoughts go through that very same gate in a peaceful way, in a calm and collected way, without violence, without rushing things, one of the things that are going to leave behind is a positive impression. 
in the example we said about the masks and the church. Yes, it is wrong to wear a mask. It is wrong not to kiss the icons. However, if we approach this by taking a friendly approach, going and talking to the right people, expressing our thoughts and feelings, addressing our viewpoints. There's a possibility that we might impact a change in a positive way. There's also a possibility of people, even if nothing changes, to remember in a positive way the impression we made in them. And even if the result doesn't change right away, I assure you, it can plant seed for people to look into the matter deeper. When we see wrong, we should not pretend it is right. Ignore it. But how we are going to address it is what we need to focus on. We will talk more about it. We thank you for listening to Coffee Break with Nanita. Our goal is to help our stay whole community work through their challenges. Please join this cause by supporting us on Patreon. You can do that for the price of just one cup of coffee per month. Just click on the Patreon link in the podcast description below or simply visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash stay whole. We appreciate you and hope we can help you stay whole.